ओपन एस पी एस एस ओके सो टाइप इन द डेटा रन एग्जिस्टिंग क्रिएट ए न्यू क्वेरी जस्ट टाइप इन डेटा यू वॉन्ट टू टाइप ओके नाउ यू हैव टू पेजेस वेरिएबल व्यू डेटा व्यू first you should go to the variable view here you put what all things you want to enter so you want to enter uh, name instead of name you have to give id okay id id then then Also. Then uh, age. Then height. Then weight. Then BMI. Then surgical history of surgery. History of. Surgery. Then side. Okay. R T one, R T two, R T one, R T two, R T three, R T average, L T two, L T one. Sorry. So now, here this is the type of the character. So if you go here, we'll have options. Whether it is a comma type, dot, date, dollar, number. Okay, how much should be the uh, width? How many characters are there in this number? For example, we have ID. ID of uh, Saudi is ten numbers. Okay, so we can put ten. Decimal places means after point. How many you want? So width decimals. Decimals means, for example, you want to put. 1.004 so that will be two three decimals so you want to change it to three then label label means what is this id okay it can be saudi national identity number okay so you will so this is explanation about the things for example this is i r t 1 or h o x this is history of surgery okay side of dominance okay then right side trial 1 okay so like that you will write about all of them this is labels now the values for example gender gender you want to give values what values 1 is male and so that means whenever you put one it is male then 2 it is female add so it will take as numbers no same place okay or history of surgery okay so for example if you put zero that means no surgery
Zero. No history of surgery. Add. Okay. One. There is history of surgery. Okay. So then side. You can say one is right. Add two is left. Add. Okay. So the like that you can add. So once you do like this, then you go to the data view. So data view will come like this: ID, gender, age, height, whatever you enter there, it will come here automatically. Now ID, patient one one one. Okay, gender one. Okay, age. Tell me age. Age of this patient twenty two. Height one point seven six. Weight sixty two. Sixty two. BMI twenty point zero. Twenty point zero one. History of surgery no zero. Side right one. RT one one two zero zero. Okay then zero RT. One two zero will be one point five. Then three one three four 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 three point six three point six. Okay, so that's it. Next, our <coughs> patient one one two. Five point six six. Huh? Five point six six. Yes. Eight. Eight. Seven. Five. Five. Six point sixty six. Five. Six point sixty six. Next patient. Like this, maybe some ten patients. I will change some genders to just for our uh, okay and some have imagine some have history of surgery some have okay now go to analyze see this go to analyze go to descriptive okay if you go to descriptive. And you choose the what all parameters you want to analyze. Like if you want to analyze uh, age, averages, height, weight, BMI, and uh, okay, R T A, R T two, <gasps> all of them I want to analyze. Go here, options. I want mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, range. Continue. give you in one table how many numbers 12 patients their range that means minimum to maximum difference is 2 mean is this much standard deviation is this much okay now better than excel now x if you i another, another option analyze descriptive go to frequencies 
एज हाइट वेट बी एम आई हिस्ट्री ऑफ सर्जरी साइड ऑफ डॉमिनेंस राइट साइड ऑल द पैरामीटर सेलेक्ट ओके टेक इट हियर नाउ गो टू द स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो यू वॉन्ट मीन मीडियम मोड परसेंटाइल स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन मिनिमम मैक्सिमम रेंज then you can have charts charts of the bar chart okay so now we have this is the statistics so for you have mean median mode standard deviation standard of error range minimum maximum for gender for age for height for weight for bmi for surgery for dominance everything Yes. No problem. Yes. That's my money. How many? This is more than three thousand riyals. Oh. Even you will get even even you will get frequency. Like male are seven, and their percentage is this much. Females are five, and their percentage is this much. Okay. so for each one they will give percentage this is uh, age 22 age are 4 and this is their percentage 24 23 age are 4 and this is their percentage height of 1.7 are this many and their percentage height of 1.8 are this many and their percentage weight of this many okay so weight height age bmi surgery side dominance for everything you will get it will take number common numbers 62 8 Are this many? Yes. Okay. So gender, bar graph, age, bar graph, height, bar graph, weight, bar graph, BMI, bar graph, history of surgery, bar graph, side of dominance, bar graph. So you'll get for all of them at one time. Now instead of uh, bar graphs, you can choose pie chart. Okay, so analyze, descriptive, frequencies. If you go, so instead of charts, I will press. I want pie chart. Okay. So then I will get a pie chart. So just I have to copy this and put it in my wallet. Sorry. Next again, analyze. Now I want to compare means of. Uh, two variables. So I want to compare between right and left. Yes. Okay. So one sample data. So comparing of right average with the left average. Okay. Options. Ninety-five percent confidence interval is good. Continue. So now it is compare between right average mean is this much standard deviation is this much this much left average is this much so here i have to see this as a p value this is the p value okay so 0.00 there is significant difference between right side proprioception error with the left side proprioception so you have to see mean number standard deviation p value This is p-value. Okay, so like that I can compare many. Analyze, compare means, and sample t-test. We'll add. so they compare all of them so between rt rt3 comparison okay there is 
zero point zero one. Still, it is significant. Okay, they compare RT one with RT one, RT two with RT two. Go to correlate. Okay, bivariate correlation between age, height, weight, BMI, average of this, average of this correlation. So you want to do Pearson correlation, two tailed. Okay, options. Means and standard deviations continue. So now we have correlation table. A correlation table. This is for age with age. When age age, it is one. Age with height minus 0.596. We have see this one is age with the right side. Correlation is 0.993. That means excellent correlation. You remember near to more than. Uh, 0.9 is excellent. 0.75 to 0.9 is a good correlation. 0.5 to 0.75 is moderate. 0.25 to 0.5 is minimum. Less than 0.5 is no correlation. So this is a correlation. So this BMI with BMI is one. BMI with RTA is 0.79. That's a correlation. Good. Yeah, good. Okay, 0.75. More than 0.75. Good correlation. That to positive correlation. That means BMI increases. Right side average of population. What about this? Come with minus. Minus is opposite. So, for example, if it is minus 0.5, that means age increases, height decreases. Our height increases. Age difference in this sample. In this sample. Okay. So you can do many things like this, but this is the minimum. What you should learn: comparing the means, doing the univariate analysis, and doing the bivariate analysis.